Howdy y'all and welcome back to Kid Ventures. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install a shore power inlet for your van, RV, sailboat, whatever. Let's take a look at the list of tools and supplies needed to do this job successfully. We're going to need a shore power inlet. Now you're going to want to make sure to get the right shore power inlet for your inverter, for your service. You're going to want to take a look through your manuals. For us, we needed a 30 amp shore power inlet. To cut the hole in the side of the vehicle or whatever surface you're mounting it on, you're going to need a hole saw. The Shore Power Inlet that I installed called for a 2 and 7 8 hole to be drilled, so that's the size hole saw I got. I also got this neat quick connect hole saw adapter from DeWalt. If you've ever had to try to put on one of the hole saws that don't have one of these, it's a real hassle, so it was nice to pick this up. You're going to need a file, sandpaper, GE silicone 2 sealant, you're also going to need an appropriate type of wire in order to hook the shore power inlet up to your inverter and or whatever else you might need to hook it up to. We use 10-3 Angkor Marine Grade Triplex wire. Now for the actual steps of the install. We measured exactly where we wanted the hole to be so that we could drill our pilot hole and then use the hole saw to cut a much larger hole. Now we need to go ahead and file down and then sand the sharp edges that surround this hole that we just cut. After fitting the shore inlet into the hole that we just drilled, we also marked pilot holes in order to drill the mounting holes for the shore power inlet. Now this is going to hold the shore power inlet to the wall or surface that you're trying to attach it to. Now this is optional, but I went ahead and chose to tap and thread the holes themselves so that a machine screw will grip onto a threaded edge rather than just sticking through the wall of the vehicle. After sanding and filing the raw edges, you're gonna go ahead and use some paint and sealant in order to avoid rust issues. Now that everything's all fit up in the test fit, we're gonna go ahead and wire the outlet itself. Here's this Angkor Marine Triplex wire, and we're gonna go ahead and strip off the outer ring of insulation, which will give us our black or hot wire, our white or neutral wire, and our green or ground wire. All those need to be stripped down, inserted into their respective terminals, and then tightened down with the available screws. And then of course later we'll use actual GE silicone 2 sealant when we install the shore power inlet. This will prevent most water intrusion and should make a pretty watertight setup. So now that we've got it wired up, we can go ahead and route the cable through, insert the shore power inlet, and put our screws into our threaded holes. That thing's not coming off there. Thanks again for joining us this week on Kid Ventures. We certainly do appreciate the views. And if you are interested in doing this project yourself, all of the listed tools and supplies are available in the video description. Please feel free to like or subscribe, and we'll see you next time.